Hey guys, what's up? JWisp here, and welcome to episode 3 of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Here we are, back in our amazing world. Now to start off, in the last episode, I was asking a lot of people for name suggestions for my cat. And a lot of people commented, I don't know why this name, but a lot of people said the name Simon. And you know what? I feel like he even did a little head shake. I feel like this cat looks like a Simon, so I'm naming my cat Simon. The only downside is, I uh... I don't have a name tag yet, so once I get a name tag, I will name my cat first thing. Hopefully we can find some name tags soon, I'm not really sure, but I'll do everything I can. We also worked on this farm in the last episode, and it's starting to actually get me a decent amount of food, so I've been farming it a little bit, and we're starting to get a good source of food, so we're pretty set. We also did a ton of mining, and got ourselves tons of diamonds using our amazing diamond method, as well as a good amount of iron and some gold, so I can actually make some golden apples and keep myself protected which I'll probably keep on me at most times just in case anything goes down and I need to live. I really want to try to limit <laughs> my deaths in this series so hopefully the golden apples will keep us alive. Now so far we've done a lot in this world, we've made a lot of progress so far in just two episodes but I have some plans for this episode. So in the last episode when we were mining I actually found an abandoned mine shaft underground on my way back up to the surface. Now the reason I didn't go through the abandoned mine shaft was just because I wanted to save it for a different episode and yesterday's episode was already getting pretty long so I figured I'd save it for today. So I want to start off today by going through that mine shaft and hopefully we'll get lucky and get a name tag in one of those chests. I know name tags are pretty rare but there's still a possibility we could find one. Alright so here we are at the entrance of the mine shaft. When going through here I'm gonna skip probably most of the ores. What's our Y level? Okay so we're at Y level 18. If we go a little bit deeper we might be able to find some diamonds but diamonds aren't my main focus. I really just want to go through here look at the chests and if we don't find anything I won't be too mad. I also want to- oh this is a long tunnel what the heck. I also want to grab some obsidian while I'm down here uh, because I want to make another portal pretty soon. But I'm really going to focus on finding chests and then diamonds if there are any. I'm not too concerned about getting iron or anything like that. Okay, here's one chest. Uh, just because I have enough already. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> There's the name tag. That was pretty easy. I guess I'll grab the rails as well. I won't grab all of them. I guess if I need more, I can come down here and grab some more another time. I'm not too concerned about it, though. I'll also check around for potential diamonds. Let's see. Well, we got one name tag, so that's all I really wanted to do, I guess. Oh, you know what? Actually, I do have to grab a little bit more iron, because to use the name tag, I'll need an anvil. And an anvil will probably be nice to have just to repair my armor in the future. Oh, no! Ah, it's burning! <laughs> okay, let's do that really fast. Let's see, anything down here? Maybe? Okay, there's more of the mine shaft. Let's see. I mean, we got the one name tag. That's pretty good. Hopefully, we can still find some more, though, because it's always nice to have name tags. That's pretty lucky, actually. I'm glad we found it that quickly. Let's keep looking through here, though. See if we find anything interesting. There's a lot of lava. So I'm gonna be very careful. I don't think there's anything over there. I'm also gonna light it up as I go, just so I can actually see what I'm doing, and also to prevent mobs from spawning. Thankfully, with, Op with Optifine, I don't really need to place torches because the light just sort of follows me, but I still wanna keep it safe. Let's check out over here really fast. Anything? Oh, we got another chest, okay. Uh, okay, I'll take this. I think I'll just take the rails from the chest. I'm not too concerned about actually picking them up off the ground. Let's see, this is- oh, no, okay, I'm gonna stay away from you. This is a big mine shaft, but hopefully I'm just gonna go through it as fast as I can and sort of find stuff. And also, uh, when I'm ready to leave, I'll just find a lava lake and grab some obsidian. Let's see, anything over here? Nope. Anything over here? Maybe. Let's block this water up. I hear some skeletons, I wanna be careful. I don't wanna die down here. Let's see, I haven't found a spider, okay. Here's another chest. I haven't found a spider spawner yet, which is interesting. I figured I would find one already, but I don't know. Maybe maybe we're just lucky. <laughs> We've been so lucky this survival series. I honestly can't ask for any more luck. I'm afraid all, all of our luck is going to run out, and then we're going to have a horrible series the rest of the time. But <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see. Let's check out. Over here, is there anything? A little part of the mine shaft, and... Oh, I thought it was a dead end, but there's a little entrance over here. Let's see. Is this anything useful? I don't think so. Nope. Not really. Alright, let's go back to the other side and see if we find anything else. Alright, so I head over here and we have a good chest. We have another name tag and some diamonds, so I'm happy with that. I think, for the most part, I've almost explored this entire mine shaft. I've been going around here for a while. I also did grab some obsidian from a lava lake. I don't think there's probably too much left because I've already found 
four chests. I normally don't find them that quickly, but I'm not complaining. We have, this is a weird setup. Why is this so shallow? What the heck? Let's see what's over here. And I still haven't found a spider spawner. I actually think I, like, want to find one <laughs> because I would like to make some sort of spider XP farm. I mean, even though the spider farms aren't that efficient and they're not that great, it's still nice to have, especially if... You are the type of person where you want just like an AFK auto clicker farm. You can easily make one from spiders. Let's see how much gold. Okay, I should have enough iron to make an anvil, so I should be fine after this vein. But I want to find at least one spider spawner. I hear some spiders to my right, so we're probably close. Hopefully. I don't know. I mean, I usually find them all the time. Come on, just blow up. <laughs> oh boy, there's so many creepers. Yeah, I usually don't have any problem finding them, so I don't know. Maybe this is just oh come on. Maybe this is just the best mine shaft ever and there's no spider spawners Who knows but I really do want to find one so hopefully we can find one soon There isn't much left to this mine shaft though, so I'm getting a little bit concerned Okay, can this fire stop? Thank you. All right, you can blow up. You can blow up as well. Thank you um, <laughs> Please give me a spider spawner what the okay wait was that cobwebs? maybe spiders Okay, so let's light up the spawner. I'm not gonna break it. What are my coordinates? I'm gonna screenshot. All right, so we have that. Uh, also, let's hope I don't die here. <laughs> I won't die, I'll be fine. It's just poison, but oh my gosh. Okay, I think the spiders should be good. So we got the spider spawner. I'm pretty much certain we found all the chests because we found four, maybe five already. I usually only find three and that was pretty quick. So I think for the most part we're set and I have the obsidian. So we should be able to head back up to the open world. The last thing I need... Oh my gosh, that is just a piece of flint so I can make some flint and steel. So we're all set. I'm going to keep the bones actually because hopefully I can tame a dog. But there we go. We got all of our stuff. Let's head back to the village. All right, so here we are back at the village. Oh, actually, let's, uh, let's do this. There you go, sir. Have a good day. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure he's all right. All right, so let's smelt the iron, get the anvil, name the cat, and then hopefully... We can head to the nether and have a good time there. Uh, oh, okay. There's our coal. I might need more chest space. I don't know. Let's see. I think we'll be okay. So we have this. Let's make one flint and steel really fast. And then how much iron do I already have smelted? We might be all set. I think... Oh, we should have enough. Wait, I forget. Is it three or four blocks? Let's see if I can do this. I think it's just three. There we go. <laughs> I play Minecraft for a living and I forget how to make an anvil. All right, let's just place that there and then where'd i put the name tag there it is and we got my boy simon the cat <laughs> so there we go but ba bam look at him go what what an amazing creature all right <laughs> so we're pretty set let me have the obsidian we're all set i don't need the water bucket and then what else should i bring with me to the nether golden apples for sure actually let's bring like a cat stack of cobblestone in case i need building blocks and then this should be really all I need. I'll build the portal far away from my house just so hopefully no villagers go inside. And uh, <laughs> I can keep everyone safe. I'll eventually probably make a uh, somewhat decorated nether portal and make it look actually nice. But I'm not too concerned about that. Plus, this is the nether update. So I want to explore the nether a bit more. Speaking of that, I totally forgot. Let's bring a little bit of gold so we can do some piglin trading. And hopefully we can get some cool stuff. Get some crying obsidian, maybe some nice drops like that. Oh, I thought I had more gold than that. Oh, I used it all for the golden apples, that's why. I was so confused, but <laughs> let's see. Hopefully we can also find some ruined portals in the nether. I haven't found any in the overworld yet, which is interesting because I usually find them pretty easily, but in the nether, I can also find them and hopefully get some good chests and stuff like that. So let's see. Oh, okay, we got a lot of zombified piglins. Let's be careful. I don't have any gold armor on. I forgot about making gold armor. Let's grab a, uh, let's grab a nether tree really fast and make some gold armor. Hopefully this hog in here doesn't have beef with me. I'm just gonna build up to get past him. I'm sorry, dude. Can he get up here? Oh, he can get up here. Okay, that's, nope, no, no, thank you. No, thank you. All right, all right. Let's, let's calm down here. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, hold on. Come on, sir. You want to fight? Oh my gosh, they do so much damage. Get away from me. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> let's grab one of these nether trees so we can make some gold armor really fast. I totally forgot about making gold armor so that piglins won't attack you. Thankfully, I don't see many normal piglins. Only see zombified piglins around here, but let's do this. 
make the crafting table just get ourselves some gold boots really fast <laughs> there we go all right so let's check out this area of you oh there it is <laughs> i was gonna say a few of my viewers actually commented on some videos and messaged me on discord uh, saying that there's another fortress right outside my portal, so I guess they were telling the truth. Let's head to it really fast. Let's skip the piglins. Hopefully there's something pretty good here. It'd be really awesome if there was also a bastion nearby. Let's turn up our render distance a bit for a tiny bit. See if we can find anything. It's gonna be difficult bridging over here. Let's hope I can bridge without dying and I can be safe. Piglin, don't attack me, please. Let's see, because nether fortresses are cool, but... I don't know, I mean, they don't have anything super great in them. I mean, you can find some cool drops in the chests, and obviously blaze rods are essential for going to the end. But besides that, I definitely prefer finding piglin bastions, because you can get so many cool drops. Plus, the pig step CD is definitely by far my favorite thing <laughs> added to Minecraft in a long time. Alright, I just made a little staircase, so we have a nice escape route. Okay, we have some nice wither skeletons, that's cool. I don't see any bastions, so I'm going to turn the render distance back down. But let's get the Wither Skeletons. Maybe we can get a Wither Skull or two. I mean, the drop chance is pretty low, but I'll still need a Wither Skull because I eventually want to complete all of the achievements in this world. That's one thing a lot of people said they want to see me do. So I'll probably, like, after we've gotten pretty far into the world, I'll probably spend maybe a live stream or two or an episode or two just achievement farming and trying to do stuff like that. Let's check out this place, though. I want to try to find a Blaze Spawner light it up really fast so that we don't get attacked by blazes and maybe we can also make a blaze farm probably not today but i will sometime in the future probably make a blaze farm because i really like making blaze farms i think they're super fun to make let's see plus i like blaze powder potions are fun to make let's head up here oh i should have brought some more cobblestone with me okay i think over there behind us is nothing oh there it is okay I'll save the coordinates of this blaze spawner too. Let's light it up really fast. Actually, I think, doesn't lighting up a blaze spawner not do anything? Maybe I'm crazy, I don't know. But there we go, we still have that. Yeah, nope, doesn't work, okay. <laughs> I gotta get out of there. Let's explore around here though, see if we can find any chests or anything like that. And if we find another blaze spawner, I'll probably just break it and get rid of it. I also want to grab some nether wart. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> I wanna grab some nether wart so that we can make some potions pretty soon. Okay, have the golden apple just in case. Okay, we're set. Any wither skulls yet? Nope, okay. Oh, there's the nether wart. Okay, that was pretty easy. Let's go back here really fast. I wanted to explore the rest of this before we really got attacked by this wither boy. Okay, so here's another blaze. Nope, okay, not gonna go in there. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'm usually pretty dangerous when playing Minecraft, but since I don't have the best armor and weapons right now, I don't really want to pick fights that I'm not sure if I can win, so I'm just gonna stay away from there. Oh boy, we gotta dodge these blaze. Come on, shoot me, boy. Yeah, no. Alright, <laughs> let's get the rest of the chests. I at least want to find a few chests. Even if I don't find all of them, I'll be okay with that. But, ooh, okay, there's the nether ward I was looking for. I want to get working on brewing potions pretty soon, because there's a few potions I want to have. Definitely, before the next time I go into the nether, I want to make some uh, <laughs> some fire resistance potions for sure, or at least get maybe fire resistance on a piece of armor or two, just to keep me safe. Once I have protection for diamond armor, I really don't have to worry about lava, because if I fall in the lava, I can just eat a golden apple, and I should be okay, uh, but I still want to keep myself protected if I can. Let's see anything else over here. No, but this is a nice view. Okay. The only thing I don't like about Optifine right now is that I like to keep the fog turned off for the overworld because I think fog on the overworld looks pretty bad. However, fog in the nether I think looks really nice and I wish there was an option to have nether fog enabled while having regular fog disabled. I don't know if that's a possibility but I think it would be really cool. Maybe, I don't know, that, that might be a feature in Optifine already and I just wasn't paying attention. But who knows, let's see, let's... Just build a cross here really fast. Check out this other side. Maybe there's more chests in here. It would also be really cool if we could maybe get a saddle and some horse armor. Because I do want to... Uh, nope. I do want a horse pretty soon. A horse would be nice to help explore around the world and find cool things. So I definitely want one of those. Let's see. Hello. Okay, there's the portal. Come on, give me one more chest. Hmm. Where are all of my chests? 
Okay, well, we've probably explored most of this. I was gonna break that one blaze spawner, but I wanna play it safe. Ooh, okay, let's grab the rest of this really fast, actually. Oh, I hate the new sound Soul Sand makes when you break it. It honestly scares me. A lot of the new nether sounds are just really creepy and eerie and... Ugh. I mean, I know cave noises scare some people, but for me... For me, it's the nether noises. <laughs> because I always, like, some of them sound like someone's talking right next to me or that someone's in my ear. Especially with these surround sound headphones. It can be dangerous when I'm in the nether and I'm home alone and it's late at night. It's not a fun combination. Alright, here's another chest. Alright, some gold, I'll take it. Is there a chest at the end of this hallway? Oh, yes. Okay, we got some horse armor. Now I just need a saddle. Come on, give me a saddle. No saddle, but there are diamonds, so I'll take it. We're having such good luck with diamonds. I don't know what's going on with this. I mean, I'm not complaining. I just feel like we're finding diamonds in almost every chest. We found diamonds literally within, like, the first five minutes of this survival let's play, so we're definitely having great luck. Okay, here are the magma cubes. Let's kill you for some potions. I hear piglins as well. I think they're fighting. I think I should stay away, though. I don't think I should join the fights. Hmm, I think we probably explored most of this. And I probably want to stay away. But let's build up here and check out what's going on. Who's fighting? Just a piglin? Okay, I don't see... Okay, there's a wither skeleton. I'll get rid of him. There's a blaze and some normal skeletons, so I have to watch out for them. Besides that, I think we'll be okay. Any wither skulls yet? Oh boy. Uh, nope, okay. Let's be careful here. I really wish I could place water in the nether, but I'm just gonna try to make my way back to my portal uh, without dying. That's the goal. <laughs> and then I'll just build up the staircase, and hopefully we'll be okay. Let's see. Actually, you know what? I probably... Oh, there's a wither boy. Okay, nope. I don't want to fight you right now. How do I do this? Come on. <laughs> Come back. There we go. Okay, let's just head up here. Actually, I don't think I'll go back in the portal yet. Why don't we explore the nether a little bit and see if we find anything interesting. Not necessarily a piglin bastion, but just anything worth finding in general. Well, honestly, I've been running through the nether for a while now, and I haven't found anything interesting. No bastions, no huge veins of quartz, no, actually, at least no glowstone close to me. There is some glowstone high up on the ceilings, but... I don't really want to build up and try to get the glowstone because if there's a ghast and it shoots me down or I accidentally fall, that could be the end of me. And so far I have zero deaths and I, I think I want to keep it that way. So let's see if we can hopefully not die the rest of this series. Alright, so what I want to do is let's... Do I have any sticks made? Yes. Alright, there we go. Grab the lapis too. I want to finish off a little bit of my diamond gear. I use my shovel quite often so I want to enchant... A decent diamond shovel, even if I only get one enchantment. Um, since we don't have a ton of diamonds yet, I think unbreaking is probably the way to go. I'd rather have my armor and tools not break. So there we go, we have full diamond tools. A decent amount of diamond armor. How many diamonds do I have in my chest? I have three total. Do I have any more? No. So I can't really make anything that useful. Let's see, let's put this all back. Let's actually start... Let's do this. Let's head into one of these village houses and convert it for us really fast. I think this house will do, because this one's kind of useless. <laughs> I want to make this house my house for potion brewing, but there's so much water in here. I don't, I don't know what's with all this water. Like, who did this? Okay, let's get rid of this. I didn't know you could place water in the little opening of a trap door. Okay, but there we go. I think I'll just make the floor of this entire house a uh, nether wart farm. <laughs> I don't know why. Poor villager, I'm sorry. I just want a tiny little place to make nether wart that's sort of far away from everything else. Because I think nether wart looks kind of gross. I don't know. I don't want it out in the open. Maybe I could put it underground somewhere sometime. But there we have that. And then let's head back here. I should have gotten more blaze rods to actually make potions. But maybe I'll do that off camera or in a different episode. Because I wanted some good potions before I went to the nether next time. But... I'll probably do that in the next episode, so let's see. I think we're pretty much all set. There we go. We have a decent amount of iron, and we have our beautiful cat. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's going to be all for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed. It's a little bit of a shorter episode because I just wanted to get some stuff ready for some build projects that I have coming up soon. I have lots of fun farms and tutorials, especially early in this series that I want to do, and then later on I start tackling some big build projects. But anyways, thank you guys so much for the support on this series so far. I really do appreciate it. Every time I start a new series, the support is crazy and it's just overwhelming and 
I really do appreciate it. So thank you guys. But anyways, this is Jay Wisp, and I will see you guys all in the next episode.